Nua, one of the tight ends, along with Heller. Here's to Roshan again, and he's into the secondary again, all the way down to the 10-yard line before he's brought down by Gareeb and Al Groth. So the Fresno State Bulldogs knocking on the door. Four out of ten. Here comes Kelly Skipper. Kelly Skipper breaks one tackle. Kelly Skipper down the sideline. He may go all the way now. Oh, Kelly yeah. Skipper touchdown. A 44-yard scampering touchdown run by the mighty Mike Kelly Skipper. 5'6", 175 pounds. He's only a freshman. And what a runner he is. I think Jim Sweeney's got the idea here. He's going to run one of his running backs until they get tired, then put the other one in there. Right now, that other one is Kelly Skipper, who you're looking at, tight roping it down the right sidelines there. He's got a blocker out in front of him doing a good job on number 22, Ned. That's Gene Taylor. Taylor down there doing a good job of blocking, and uh, Skipper goes all the way. As we look at head coach Jim Sweeney there. It's second and two for the Bulldogs. This is Mosley. He's got a first down and then some. He may have a touchdown. It is Williams. 10-5. Touchdown. James Williams. James Williams exploding for 35 yards and a touchdown. Let's take a look at it again. A little misdirection there. He does a counter step to the left, goes to the right. And now you're going to see him reverse his field there as he breaks through the line of scrimmage, going all the way back to his left. Ran for over 1,000 yards last year, I mentioned earlier, the first running back in Fresno State to do it in 33 years. James Williams had 13 touchdowns for the Dogs last season. Gets his first one of 1986. That job, all three of these men. 51 seconds left. This is first down, and on the draw, it's Dean Collins straight at the middle, and this young man is still on his feet inside the 20-yard line. And he fumbled the football. He was rolled down, though. What an effort by Dean Collins. He was ruled down. So Collins with another outstanding run. Well, the pass rush was on, and everybody was thinking that way, and they crossed him up with a gutsy call. to give his offensive line some confidence and then come back with some play action pass. I thought your line to start the ball game, you win with the run, was so true. This is Jones, tries to get outside, and he does. Piece of the 40. He could go all the way to the 10-yard line, and Myron Jones will score the touchdown. Just a simple uh, dive. He broke it outside. Coach Bobby Turner, running back coach, said this kid, 4-3 speed, just waiting for him to break a big one. He's got all the tools. He's been in junior college the past two years, was red-shirted, so he's got a little rust, and he's learning as they play. And you see right there why he's such a big play threat. Helford is on the sideline, and he is an experienced senior quarterback who threw for over 2,000 yards last year. They have gone to him in the past, but they will stick with Barsotti here. Rosette, 50-yard line. He has great speed. Darrell Rosette for the touchdown, 65 yards. And what a way to break open offensively for Fresno State. This, they've done it all year long. Run the ball, and Darrell Rosette, who is taking over here for a banged-up Clyde Skipper in the second half, one move, two moves, breaks through the line, a good block downfield by his wide receiver, Andre Alexander, and Rosette, with his 4-4 speed, is off to the races. Why not? 14 TDs in the ground this year, one for the air. Craver sweeps, short side of the field, first down Fresno State, and right now they're just slamming it at Ball State.
Bill, they call this yards after contact. It's how many yards do you get once you're hit. Now, right there, he's hit. Now, watch that leg drive. Just keep those legs churning, and he picks up another three, almost four yards. Misdirection to Rivers, and Ron Rivers is on his way to the 20, at the 10, in the end zone. 42 yards for Ron Rivers. What great balance. He's built so low to the ground. A couple of Bears had shots at him. A lot of guys would have gone down, but Ronnie will do a little celebrating. But the dogs counter right back after the Baylor score. Look at the counter. This is the counter tray made famous by the Washington Redskins. Look at the balance, though, by Ron Rivers. Two guys, he bounced off him like a bowling ball and just moves into the end zone. Got 220 yards rushing tonight. From the 41, they're going to run Daigle. Coming right, goes to the 45, to the 50, breaks the tackle. He will sprint down to the 20. He will score. Touchdown, Fresno State. to say the San Diego State kids have quit for the last two drives. Jones, who runs this very same field for the Chargers. This is Pittman, and he will go into the end zone for the touchdown. Big hole for Michael Pittman. Big hole for Pittman, an outstanding job on the offensive line. Look at this hole that opens up right here. You see the blocking right there? I mean, you could drive a truck through there. Painful one. If you've never had one, you can't really understand the pain. Kimbrough on second down, keeps it on the ground, and scores the touchdown for Fresno State. So Pittman got his touchdown, the San Diego native, another San Diego native, Kimbrough. tight ends. They're unconventional Fresno State. We'll give it to Paris Gaines trying to get outside and he will score. They went with an unbalanced line to the left. I think the question mark here after you're down by 16, do you go for two or do you just go for the one point and say, okay, we're going to get in the end zone a lot more times. It's not going to come down to just two scores. Pat Hill right now assuming he'll have some extra score. Back right now. On second down, Ward with the football. And will not be taken down, and this is, could go. Look at the speed. It's a foot race to the end zone. Cut from behind. No, he keeps his feet. Touchdown, Fresno State on a huge oh run by Derek Ward. Oh, Charles Rogers easy, was the only <laughs> guy who could get him, and it looked like he was going to trip him up. But the guy is just too, too strong. Both teams have two timeouts remaining. Would there be another chance for Bill Ball? Let's see. You run the ball, keep the ball on the ground, keep the clock going. Rodney Davis, you got to stop Rodney uh, Davis. There he goes. Rodney Davis to the house. Touchdown. And he flips the ball. Bryson Sumlin, another nice move. Still going down the sideline of this tackle. He's got a blocker. Sumlin hauled down at the two-yard line. C.J. Allen Jones saved the touchdown. What a run by Bryson Sumlin, 89 yards. Wendell Mathis. Helped him when he got off the field, guys. Big hole. Big chance for a touchdown. He'll go. No flags. Clifton Smith. Touchdown. Bulldogs. Well, we know why now. I mean, he's, why he's an MVP. A special, special player. The 
penalty flag will be for the jumping on the sign and jumping into the stands. I nice mean, just, block. Just, just well blocked, you know, from, from everybody out there. And put the Smith birthday goals untouched. Camp, the big fullback. Matthews, the tailback, and here comes Matthews. On the bounce, to the outside, to the 10, to the 5, to the end zone. Touchdown! 27 yards. 21, Ryan Matthews rushing for a... He is able to get the corner as well as any back I've seen this season. And we talked about he's a one... We talked about the fact that he's a one-cut back, Wayne, but once he makes a decision, he has another gear that most backs simply don't have. screen pass and they get three out of the deal ball and be a BCS buster in college football Randstater to Miller oh Miller's getting loose here he goes Lanye Miller Langford got to him at the end but the Bulldogs are in good shape now 75-yard run by Miller. Yeah. In balance. Colburn to Robbie Ross, who breaks uh, it through, and he will take it the distance. And Fresno State will seal the victory with that run broke. by Robbie Ross. It's a power play to the weak side, and uh, they were loading up on the strong side. You'll see it. They came to the short side with the power play and uh, there was no Laird defense in the secondary. They got it all walled off. Yep. 51 yards on the touchdown for Robbie Rouse. Having a monster game. Changes the play call and now gets the snap off and hands it off. The first running play and a big hole up the middle. Inside the 35 and nearly down to the 30. Quezada with a big run for Fresno State. A gain of 17. And a coach on the field going, get going, get going, faster, faster. Coach in this league, he's killing Anderson. You want to get, you want to get all six here. Waller, the handoff with real estate. Martez Waller off to the races. Touchdown. Martez Waller went over 100 yards. He is now fifth on the all-time list. He did that earlier tonight for Fresno State. It appears they're going to go for two as well, but boy, I like the call. Give it to Martez Waller, who has had a spectacular night tonight for the Bulldogs. McMarion options to Rivers. Try to turn the corner up. To win on the blue, Robbie Rivers and Fresno State in overtime. Haven't needed it. First down. Mims stays busy. Makes the cut. Mims. End zone. Touchdown, Fresno State. These Bulldogs.